Hi guys, and in today's uh, video I'm discussing the Kent Fitness League Cross Country Race 1 that I did. So I've uh, just uh, um, arrived at the first cross country fixture, Kent Fitness League, and running for the club. And um, it's, um, I think it's two laps and it's about five miles. I um, don't see many people here yet, but I'm really early. And um, this is some of the course that we will be running, as you can see. So it's quite a nice course, um, I think we can see a bit. And um, yeah, so um, Mel, do you want to say hello? Dino, Dino, no, can't see Dino. Um, so Dino's come out for a trip as well for the first time. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just see what my fitness is, give it, um, well, I wouldn't say give it my all, but um, give it what I can with my current fitness levels and um, yeah, see what I am and uh, should be enjoyable. So you saw some footage beforehand and um, I didn't get a, a lot of footage because uh, Mel um, said I was too speedy so, and uh, she kept missing me. But um, anyway, so this race was um, Kent Fitness League uh, fixture one, which was at Swanley Park. And um, it's one of my favorite races. It's not my favorite race to do the Kent Fitness League, but um, it is one of my favorites. So it, was, um, it wasn't two laps, um, as I mentioned on the video um, beforehand. It was actually um, two and a half laps, and I'll, I'll explain that a bit later. Um, in regards to my fitness, I, I've only been back for two weeks and um, my uh, coach Mark Shepherd said, allowed me to do cross country but told me to forget my ego and um, just uh, race to the fitness levels you have at the moment and he's given me permission to do that. So um, I turned up to the race um, and uh, my race plan was to build in um, the, first, uh, the first mile. Um, so the race went on, it went, went smoothly. I built in the first mile and then um, the first lap was quite a short lap and then I got quite confused. I didn't realize it was two and a half laps and I built into it and um, I, I had, at the start I had loads of people overtake me and um, I, I started building in and taking um, each lap I was overtaking quite a few people. Um, and then I got past um, come up, a few of my club members um, on the second uh, um, on the second lap and um, held um, that position ahead of um, my other club members uh, so that was quite good I enjoyed um, I enjoyed it um, at the last bit when I came up I was um, trying to sprint to get the last um, uh, the last uh, place in front of me but I couldn't quite do it and I was um, really shattered and my legs the last mile were feeling like they were um, just um, empty because I hadn't done any speed work um, uh, prior to this. So um, I enjoy cross country. It's good. It be benefits. They, it helps you get stronger, and it really does. Um, like um, it's a, it's a good thing to do over the winter, and I wanted to do it to help the club and um, uh, and get some points. So we f um, I finished twenty fifth overall. So that was a good start. Um, roughly where I did three years ago, and roughly the same time I did three years ago, but the three years ago I was a lot, um, I was at a um, peak fitness sort of thing, so that was that. Um, but yeah, I was happy. First down, um, Canterbury Harrier home, so it was nice to see that, but we were quite evenly matched. There was a few um, Harriers straight after me. Um, the, the men's team finished seventh from the um, overall, and the women's team uh, finished first, so it was good to see it, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Um, in two weeks time. So thanks for watching guys and please subscribe to my channel and my content. And the uh, champions of the uh, this age of category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emilianis Cristadou, Kim Chibis, Cristadou.